there are mistakes that are understandable and then there are mistakes that are just dumb guys please honestly hi my loves and welcome back to my channel if you are new here a very warm welcome to you and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me once again now today's video as you can see by the title down below we are talking all things life after high school from my gap year experience from my first year experience and other life tips that i'm just basically giving you guys in terms of navigating your way through life after high school this is to people who are are already um, entering into their first year this year this is to people who are still in high school or whatever place you are at in life in fact um, this video is for you and I do hope that you utilize it to your advantage and that you enjoy it please make sure you do subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button and also leave a comment down below and most importantly give this video a huge thumbs up and yeah without rambling <laughs> and without saying more without further ado let's get straight into the video i think i think i'm ready um sorry about that um i think i feel weird though because i haven't really filmed a like sit down sit down video in a minute but um let me just quickly do my brows off camera i hope the lighting is fine i'm gonna just quickly do my brows off camera and then we'll start with the chit chat so yeah okay y'all yeah, i think we're ready and good to go so i read i wrote everything down on my phone um basically like the subtopic so i know what to talk about um yeah so i already prepped my skin with this um sunscreen that i use really so i just prepped my skin with that because i don't really have like proper primer and also this is not a makeup tutorial i'm just talking to you guys while i do my makeup so i mean it is what it is it is what it is so i'm kind of in a rush because I am actually getting ready to go and watch my little sister's match. I have to take her to the match and watch her play her basketball match. Um, so yeah. To start off, I'm going to talk about... Um, obviously, you guys, you guys know this video is about life after high school. And yeah, I feel like I'm really in a position to actually give advice or share my experience rather on how it's been because not only was I in first year last year, but the year before that, I had taken a gap year um, for full 12 months. I was um, not doing anything. I, was, well, I wasn't in school. So yeah let's first talk about that um so obviously i matriculated in 2020 i was part of the class of 2020 which um was unfortunate for me because we were part of the gang the covid gang the covid um gang and everyone else after that but i feel like covid hit us more i swear in matric at that time when it started it us more because obviously it was a new thing and for the first what like four to six months of the year we weren't at school so imagine i have it to write finals all of a sudden and trials and you know and you haven't really even been getting proper education so it was a bit difficult but we made it through with the bachelor's pass i did really well like i passed really well i didn't really get the marks that i wanted to get um but i passed through the bachelor's pass so that was amazing for me going into the year 2021 for me um i had already known that i was going to take a gap year because actually taking a gap year was something that i had decided while i was still in grade 10 so i always knew that once i finish matric as soon as i finish high school i want to take a gap year simply because there were certain things that i wanted to implement in my life like starting a business blah 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 which obviously did not happen especially because of how covid hit us like financially like i feel like covid really hit everyone financially so um by the time that time came i was just like okay um is it still even wise to start a business at this time um at a time like this where everyone is struggling financially 
where am I gonna get funding and you know all of that stuff like everyone was just really basically trying to survive in 2021 after COVID hit us so I was just like okay you know what I'm gonna just take a gap here and figure out what I'm going to do and for me I'm just so glad that I actually had a supportive family structure who actually supported my decision to take in a gap year and they also supported me within the gap year yes there were a few difficulties here and there like family related difficulties but during my gap year um i wasn't just sitting and you know that's one important thing if you do decide um that okay i'm in my trick now or whatever or whatever grade you're in and you decide that you want to take a gap year it's okay trust me it is okay to take that gap here but you must just have a plan and for me i feel like i had a plan even though my plan wasn't really solidified it wasn't really a solid plan but i definitely had a plan as to what i wanted to do within that gap here what i wanted to achieve within that gap here yes i didn't achieve all those things but at least within the gap here i was work working towards something i don't know if you guys get me so yeah i was working towards something which made life much much more easier and also during my gap year i had like i was taking like a few courses um <clears throat> like online courses about marketing um digital marketing because obviously i wanted to take my content creation more seriously um and so i used that time to actually learn about digital marketing and how i could market myself as a brand um you know so i took those courses i have like books full of like information from those courses like my notes and whatever so i wasn't just sitting around and also i had a youtube channel remember so i was also using my time to film to create content yes it was hard i'm not gonna say would see every single day i was doing something every single day i was productive because no that was not the case i had my high highs and i I had my extremely low lows so yeah i think at some point i actually fell into a bit of depression because i was just like damn and also when people would ask me especially elderly people if they would ask me oh you would you clearly lost year what are you doing this year um and i tell them no i'm in a gap year they'd be like way gap year and nah. um you're not gonna go back to school and in my head i was just like i know i'm gonna go back to school because i know what my plan is i don't just take a gap year out of impulse i had planned this for three years prior to the actual thing happening you know but that sort of demotivated me a little because i was just like firstly why are you in my business and secondly why would you demotivate a child like that if anything you should be motivating me and saying make sure you go back to school after you know don't just say way you you've taken a gap here this means what you're not gonna go back to school because it's always hard for people to go back to school after a gap here and i was like that was your experience not mine and i think being a person who knows what they want one thing about me like once i set my heart to something i do it and i'm disciplined in that area like once i tell myself okay i'm doing this and after this i'm doing this i do it you know because i think i'm just i've been taught discipline from a very very young age so to me it wasn't even a matter of i wasn't even thinking of oh my gosh what if i actually don't go back to school you know because it's not like in that gap here i was sitting i wasn't sitting i was doing stuff um also i invested more into the family business started learning more about the family business and whatever yeah basically just to um round up about the gap here just if you're going to take a gap here if you're going to decide to take a gap here or if you've already decided that you're taking a gap here have a plan have some sort of plan and don't just sit around and do nothing because i really believe that your brain and your mind is going to start adjusting to the fact that you're not doing anything so always try to stay active always try to stay productive in whatever ways you can um you know obviously according to your means and whatever um educate yourself like just because you're not in uni it doesn't mean that you can't educate yourself in other ways watch like self-help youtube videos or start a business or you know things like that um so that you're not just sitting and not being productive i highly believe in productivity you know because obviously we're working on our future here and there can't be any time or any point in our lives where we're just sitting and not doing anything you get me so just make sure that you are on top of your feet at all times um yeah
anyway so going into my first year experience so last year i was in first year um after taking a gap year i finally got into school well i applied i decided okay i think i've had enough of this gap year in fact at some point i was just like damn i'm so tired of this gap year i actually want to go to school like at some point i was just like why did i even take this gap year but i mean everything works out for my good so i had to take that gap year when i look at it now there were certain reasons why i would say that i had to take that gap year it's reasons that i'm not going to share like it's personal stuff but um it did me good taking that gap year did me good it helped me just get a more rounded perspective on things in general so yeah the last thing i want is to not be making any sense to you guys um so anyway my first year experience as you guys know or some of y'all may know if you're new to my channel you don't know that i go to after i go to a film school here in durban initially um i had applied to go to cape town so i'm supposed to be in cape town guys i'm supposed to live my best life in cape town but i decided otherwise i decided you know what let me think proactively you know let me actually think logically as well and what would make sense for my situation right now so i got accepted at cape town and then um i realized that you know what i don't think that going to cape town is the right choice for me right now um yes everyone else i would see it was okay everyone else was actually going away like all the people that were in my space at that time but i didn't allow myself to like be consumed by that pressure of what's oh, okay everyone is going away from home now you know it's not like a kaya i can't do it i don't even remember what i was saying because of the distractions i'm getting like it's crazy anyway guys so for me going to a different province wasn't really like a must you know at that time at that moment so i told myself okay you know what um i can always go to cape town wherever I want to go actually even if it's overseas i can always go like after i finish my degree so let me finish my degree here in durban and then thereafter i will decide because i also do want to do my honors um so thereafter i would decide okay um now is the right time for me to go you know so i decided to get a transfer so i got a transfer from cape town and they transferred me to durban um and so yeah i go to AFTA, durban campus and my first year experience guys i don't know what to say honestly honestly um so our durban campus is like really small um our durban campus is small like it's not as big as Joburg. it's not as big as cape town so it's a really small campus literally everyone will know everyone like even if you don't want to know everyone you will end up knowing everyone like by seeing them not that you know their names no like i am such i can be such an anti-social person and i feel like to some people it comes across as oh my gosh this girl like like who does she think she is or whatever you know and it's really not like that like i'm socially awkward like i'm actually such a socially awkward person and this year i actually want to try get out of that bubble not at school it's calling by trailer and i got <laughs> i got you know this thing of just being with people who are your age and they're just weird like honestly people in my school are just weird and i just don't get it i i i get along very well with the now third years because i knew them from before like i knew them from some of them i knew them from primary school some of them i knew them jay from before like high school and whatnot so yeah the only person i hang out with every day at school you guys already know is my friend pilile she's the one person i hang out with so anyway we're not talking about groupies here we're actually going to talk about my first year experience so my first year experience was really great um in terms of like academically i had a very great academic year i shocked myself in fact i didn't think that i could be someone who could produce well i knew that i could be someone who would that i am someone who has a great potential in terms of like excelling academically like ad academic excellence i knew that you know i had that in me because in primary school i was always that kid who would be getting awards every single year you know 
and then that changed in high school i think that changed basically because of the situation i was in in high school guys i've been through a lot in my life i've been through a lot um but the situation i was in the environment i was in the point in my life i was in in high school i'm not making excuses but i had a really hard time in high school um so yeah i was excelling in some of my subjects for example drama business studies um english but you know it wasn't like an all-rounded thing you know which is okay i mean it's okay um so anyway in first year i was always part of the top students y'all this has dried up so bad you guys i'm gonna look like a zombie i'm actually gonna look like a zombie and i'm not i'm not and i'm not gonna look like a zombie okay so in terms of like my academic experience as i was sharing it was great like academically i was excelling i even got awarded a bursary from my school because of academic excellence like i didn't apply for this bursary i just got it because they were saying would say okay i'm excelling um very 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 well so they awarded me a bursary um which i was grateful for because honestly i don't know what i would have done without that bursary um because yeah it would have been so much of a financial strain for my parents because obviously we've got my brother my little brother who's in high school he goes to a private high school as well um and then my sister now who's in grade eight now she also goes to the same high school my brother goes to so two private school kids three private school kids because i also go to a private film school so it was going to be a lot financially like honestly i don't know like it was okay what's gonna happen and then by the grace of god i just got awarded a bursary i remember that day i literally cried because i was just like damn god really answered my prayers because i didn't want to be a financial strain to my parents especially because like i'm like getting old now like i'm getting older not old i'm getting older and there's just certain things that you know i should be easing my parents off of um you know so if i can get a bursary i must make sure i apply to bursary um places to places where i can get funding um so yeah in first year i, I hadn't applied to any bursary to any bursaries because i didn't know but you know i didn't know actually actually i didn't know so yeah luckily for me um i got awarded a bursary at school my point here is that when you get to uni you meet all sorts of different people you meet good people you meet bad people you have good experiences if you have bad experiences as well um for me first year in terms of people and like forming relationships with people it was good but it was also bad um in certain ways that i'm not going to share um so you know so the choice is yours basically because you're on your own now um you're growing you have to make your own decisions um so it's really important to make the right decisions and it's also really important to try to excel in university so that you can be able to get funding because guys i'm not gonna lie to you guys especially if you're going to a private school and you have to pay more than 100k every year for school fees you know um and on top of that, for me, being a film student, there's certain things that I want, like cameras, equipment, like proper equipment, you know. So that would be like an extra investment for my parents. So easing them off of this um, responsibility of having to pay my school fees has been a really great thing for me, a really great achievement for me um, and for them as well, you know, because I know that they're glad. I know they're proud of me excelling and doing so well in school to be awarded bursaries like left right and center when i say left right and center i mean left right and center it's been an amazing opportunity even this year for my second year i was awarded a bursary um paid in full everything paid in full already um so it's truly a blessing so my point is that make sure you try to excel make sure you try to secure as much funding as you can i don't know the like criteria for like public schools public universities i don't know what's six seven nine journey um just be on the lookout for bursaries there's always bursaries like be on the lookout um i'll try link like a bursary link a, a link that has like all the different types of bursaries that you could apply for i'll link it in my description box if i find it
or if I remember it. You can actually check it out. It's got all sorts of bursaries, like any subject that you're doing, actually, you can get a bursary for, depending on obviously what field you're going into. So, yeah. Um, okay, y'all. So I went and I actually got dressed off camera because I am running a bit late. Um, well, not late, but behind on schedule. The time is 7 a.m. now, and I was supposed to be at the house now. But it's okay, all is well. To end off, I am going to apply my lip gloss. Um, <clears throat> I did my line. I did line my lips with a brown pencil. So yeah, um, basically just to end off the video, guys. Um, life after high school will either make or break you. The decisions you make and take have to be decisions that are wise, and have to be decisions that I think that have been thought through. Um, yes, I know this whole buzz of life after high school is like all about clubbing, partying. <sighs> Personally, personally, y'all, I don't believe that. Yes, it's good and well to let yourself go out once in, like in a while um but don't let it become a lifestyle um why do i say this because a lifestyle that is like that every week you're clubbing every week you're partying grooving what is that doing for your soul like the amount of contamination you bring upon yourself is like insane um and also ufundanin like when do you actually sit down and think about your life and think about what you want to do and how you're going to do it what you're going to venture into and how you're going to do it and study for exams like you know all of that stuff it's so important to make the right decisions after high school and don't fall into this trap of with yay i'm finally free i can do whatever i want yes you can do whatever you want but that does not mean that you need to self-destruct because those behaviors and those patterns are self-destructive and don't forget to would see five years down the line after you do your degree you can still do those things you're still going to be young but the decisions and the choices you make now are so 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 important and vital to the type of future that you're going to have um yeah yeah don't do it hastily like don't think that now life is all about that now and falling into this trap of just self-destruction guys please as your sister whether i'm little to you whether i'm older than you please make the right choices try by all means to make the right decisions yes it's good to make mistakes but there are mistakes that are understandable and then there are mistakes that are just dumb so make your choice do you want to live this way or do you want to live that way? And also understand what living your life means to you. That is a very important thing. Like personally for me, let me give you an example. For me, living my life is, it's not about clubbing. It's not about partying. It's not about, you know, I also live by this. You only live once thing, but in the sense of, I want to start that business. Let me do it. Let me take that risk into starting that business. Let me take this risk into investing in my YouTube channel. Let me, you know, um, read books. Let me like do something I've never done before. Um, like go to a park alone or whatever and just spend time with myself or, you know, um, yes, once in a while I like to go out, but I don't make that who I am. I don't make it my lifestyle because it's a very bad and a very self-destructive lifestyle in my opinion. So if you do it, don't do it hastily, do it sparingly and think about your future at all times. Whatever decision, make sure that you are getting the right advice and that is from the right people. Um, and yeah guys, my DMs are always open and if there's anything that I didn't cover in this video because of time obviously, be sure to just drop me a question or like you can send me questions i can always do like a part two of this if there's anything that you want to know like more of my experiences or whatever and anything like anything um in this field like life after high school you can drop me a dm or comment down below like ask me a question in the comment section whatever it is um i will surely answer you or 
if i decide i'll probably just do like a part two um chit chat i don't know i'll see but um yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that it was helpful to you and i hope that you understood everything that i was trying to say most importantly if you did please make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already a subscriber and yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you very soon in my next video guys